G'day everyone, this video is the first in a series of videos showing how to use the Pioneer Rekordbox software. The software is pretty in-depth and there's a huge amount of features which I'm discovering every day, so I thought as I'd learn things, I'm going to pass that on to you guys by doing some videos about it. Also, hopefully these videos will uh, get you a bit more familiar with the software. I know a lot of you shy away from using it out in the clubs at the moment, so hopefully this will provide some information to just get you a little bit more familiar because there's a huge amount of benefits for preparing your music before you go out to the clubs. And not to mention, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just a lot nicer. So um, I hope this helps. And uh, if you want to see anything about Pioneer Record Box, or you don't know how to use a feature, or you wonder if it can do something, please leave a comment in the video below and I'll try and do a video about it. So this first video is about how to use mixed in key, key notations with the Record Box software. So I hope you enjoy. So the way this works is by getting mixed in key to write the key value of the music that it detects into the music file itself for use in Record Box. So the first thing we're going to do is analyze our files in mixed in key and get it to write the key information to the files that it's analyzed. So the first thing we're going to do once we load up mixed in key is click on settings and then go to update tags. We want to make sure that store key is set. So only the key value is written to the file. We also want to make sure that overwrite comments is set as well. Now, make sure before you use this option that uh, you have a backup of your music files because overwrite comments will actually overwrite any data that may already be in the comments field of the file. And you may want that, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, just make sure you have a copy before you start working because this will actually change the settings. So select overwrite comments. Now you may notice this additional option underneath overwrite comments called update initial key tag. Now, this option will actually overwrite the value of key inside DJ software like Rekordbox, Serato and Tractor. The problem with this is, if you ever drag a file that has had this value written into Rekordbox and it analyzes the track, it will be overwritten with the Rekordbox key value again. This all sounds a bit confusing, but basically, if you use this method with the comments, regardless of how any DJ software analyzes the file, the uh, key value will actually stay inside the file and it will never get overwritten, making sure that your collection stays up to date and doesn't get messy with two different versions of uh, key analysis. Go back to collection and let's import our files that we're going to analyze. Now I'm using Oli P's fantastic bootleg pack that he just recently released and we're going to get the files analyzed. Now that Mixed in Key has analyzed our files, we can see the key results here. These values have actually been written to our MP3 files. So I'm gonna show you this by adding a column in Windows called Comments. And we can see that all the key values are here. So now we can work with them in Rekordbox. Now, if you're a Mac user and you're having trouble with the data not being written to this comments field, it's because there's this setting in iTunes called Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized. You need to go into iTunes and deselect this, and then these comments fields should be written really nicely. And it's just because iTunes is a complete piece of crap. So what we're going to do is open up Rekordbox, and just for simplicity, I'm going to create a brand new playlist called Ollie P and we're going to put our newly analyzed file with our comments into Rekordbox. Now there's this column here by default in Rekordbox called key. That is the Rekordbox key notation. We want the mixed in key ones. So what I'm gonna do is right click on the title heading and I'm going to deselect key. And I'm gonna right click again and then I am going to select comment. Now this always bounces around, ah, it's up here, comments. Now this is actually the mixed in key notations. And the cool thing is we can sort by that and now work with those values. So now what we wanna do is we want to actually uh, export these files for use with our CDJs, but there's a few additional settings that we need to set first. Plug in your external USB key. As you can see, I've got it plugged in here. Click on the key and select the column button. Now. This allows you to display a certain column value next to the track name on the CDJ when it's loaded. You can click on the drop down menu here and add comments if you would like the mixed in key key notation to be next to the track name. 
Also, if you click on sort, and this one's a real important one, select comments and add it to the active sort options. And then just to reduce confusion, we're going to remove key as well. Now, whenever I plug this particular USB key into the CDJ that I'm playing at, whether that be the ones at my house or the ones at the club, uh, these settings will follow me around. So we're going to now export our playlist containing our new music. So Holly P on my USB key. I'm gonna drag my files over and export them. So now when we plug in our newly created USB key into the CDJ, we load up the playlist that we just created, Holly P here, and we can see that the mixed in key notation is next to each track, which is really awesome. Also, if we press the menu button up here and select sort, we can sort by comments. And that will have all the mixed in key nicely sorted for us. So that's it. That's how we use mixed in key key values with Pioneer Recordbox and these wonderful CDJs. Hope you enjoy. It.